हेलो हाँ गुड इवनिंग माय नेम इज उपेंद्र टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ दिस मार्केट प्लेस ए एम एल एक्सलरेट मार्केट प्लेस इज वर्किंग एक्चुअली दिस इज अ मार्केट प्लेस वेयर माय क्लाइंट इज सेलिंग सर्टन सर्विसेज एंड सर्टन प्रोडक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंशियल क्राइम सॉल्यूशंस सो हियर two things are uh, very important in any market place one is uh, customer uh, or clients and another one is uh, seller or you can say author vendor whatever it may so uh, normally uh, any market place we can uh, create any market place for any digital product for any physical product or any services so whatever your product type which you are uh, which you are uh, want, wanting to sell in any market place you can create by through using these kind of tools by edd ed digital download and marketify square code checkout lot of things are there by using these things you can create this market place so now uh, here i am going to show you how this is uh, complete system is going to work because everything has been finished as per my client requirement but uh, now i am making this video for Uh, my client reference proposal so now i am uh, going to show you how his marketplace is working so uh, first of all uh, see these are the some products uh, demo products which are listed here so here uh, normally uh, uh, see these are the tab main tab cat and search button and the uh, another thing sign in and so these two things are very important see sign in uh, tab uh, can be used by the client or can be used by any vendor or seller because sign in mean any user can sign in by using this tab any subscriber can sign in by using this tab any admin can all also uh, website admin can uh, sign in by using this tab because this is the default wordpress sign in uh, by using this sign in you can uh, uh, go into your account and after that you can access the things the stuff which uh, uh, you have uh, allowed i mean if you are admin then you can access anything if you are the client then you can see your purchase history etc and if you are vendor then you can also see your purchase history and also your product uh, any new product which you have added already into this store and uh, your earning and your current order and lot of messages will be like everything you can uh, see in your from your trash so now i am going to show you how these uh, all things are going to uh, work so so that it will help you so this is the main thing which we are going to show you now okay now uh, uh, what i i'll do i'll uh, suppose uh, i will test this site uh, as a normal customer as a normal client so now see these are the products i am going to add the products over there by adding this product into the cart this is the first product which i have added so i have added this product this product this four product i have added into the cart suppose i want to buy this product after that i make a check out when uh, i do check out then see these are the products which i have added into the cart these are the price and these are the product item which you, you can change from here also okay now this is the price and this is the bonding point uh, which you can get after purchasing the whole product and uh, ha see uh, here one uh, thing you need to register an account in order to earn this point because uh, before purchasing yeah, if uh, if you want to purchase any product then you have if you have a client you should have a registered client id otherwise you have to register uh, register your complete uh, credential uh, as a from scratch but like this suppose you have to buy this this free product from this store and you are not already you are not a client then uh, then uh, go to the case payment i am showing you how you can do this type of thing so after going to case payment do you got the registration from because i am not going to use the paypal and amazon I will, I will also we are now just uh, testing this website so i choose uh, the test map now my internet is little bit slow
go. So after choosing the test payment, uh, I am giving my email ID, suppose whatever the email ID etc. and the detail which uh, uh, I want to put here. I had earlier, suppose I have email ID, first name, last name, everything and how did you hear about, suppose so like this. How did you hear about suppose, uh, this picture from Twitter? Create an account. See, here you have to create an account because these are the personal info. Uh, uh, this is the payment, test payment gateway I am using. So, uh, no need to enter your credit card detail and anything, pay, payment gateway detail. But uh, if you want to purchase this item using test payment gateway, see, I, I, I just uh, agree with her terms also. You need to agree the terms. You have to check out this point. And subscribe us for 30 days free support. It means uh, we have already integrated this option backend option with MailChimp. So when user uh, will uh, check this option, uh, automatically his email ID and everything will be uh, captured in your uh, MailChimp list. So that uh, frequent mail will be send, uh, sending to client, promotional mails, etc. time to time. So now what happened? Suppose we are uh, entering these details and uh, now going to purchase. But when I will click on purchase, it will not process because uh, we have not registered. Uh, the client uh, has not registered his information till here. So what happens? See, now I am clicking on purchase. See, you must have to register or login the complete detail. So now the register, uh, there is two types of registration I am showing you. Here also client can register, uh, register his account by uh, adding his detail username password and uh, confirm his password these three simple three things will be needed for registration uh, register for a client huh. another uh, one area is join here also anyone can register any client can register any user can register any vendor can register any affiliate can register i'll show you how this option will work later so now what happened now i am going to register suppose i am using suppose client 111 and the password is I am using then another confirm that password then every option is ok click on purchase so see when the here sign in and join when he will purchase what happened see do you want to google come save this password you mean see the, this is his name we have randomly added some name client 11 ah, and see the sign in and the join in button uh, uh, changed here and here uh, in the place of sign in here logout button came and join in button uh, removed there and my account button shown here because the client purchase here is uh, payment received and his invoice here he can check his invoice and the product detail downloadable link there is no downloadable link if there is some downloadable link then he can also download it from there here also Otherwise, you will also get an email of the same also there, so you can download the product also. And this is the invoice, the complete invoice, uh, it will look something like this. Which invoice will uh, getting by the client when we will purchase any product. So, uh, now uh, what is the thing, uh, here you can getting everything, but what is the main thing, here is the my account option. Here is the base part, is, uh, he can edit her, her profile anytime. He can see your purchase history and he can become an author, author vendor, etc. Suppose a client wants to add some products and he wants to become vendor like Fiverr, like eBay, like Amazon. Because uh, all are, uh, they are uh, joined as a client, as a buyer, initially. After that, they are uh, wishing to sell their product or services in this type of marketplace. So like this, here also this option can be possible. So I am showing you uh, how this is can be possible. So first of first of all, uh, I am going to show you the edit your profile. When clicking on edit your profile option, you can uh, edit your complete profile uh, like your name. You can change your name, first name. Suppose first name I am adding mine. First name is Upendra. Upendra uh, underscore Sidhu. And the last name is suppose I have added Sivani. And display name, suppose I am changing to client 111. Email ID, primary email ID, suppose I am giving you something email ID, you can choose your email ID here. Suppose I have added some email ID here. Testing email ID. This is the 
employees without testing for this is not any communication email id okay now address line i have added my address and country and state everything i can uh, add it later whenever i will need it and the password also i can change from this i have changed these things when i will change see here also these things has been changed client and everything has been changed your profile has been successfully updated it means client profile has been successfully updated and he can see uh, 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 if you want to see his or her purchase history he can find it from here purchase history see this is the id and the october 25 this is the purchase view detail and download download invoice ha ah, he can uh, track all the detail from here in future if you needed anything invoice and any link he can access from his account directly so these are the best part which uh, two things client can enjoy suppose in future if you want to uh, become a vendor then you can click directly client can click here become one vendor after that what happen because uh, if any client if any client wants to become one vendor then uh, others information uh, also needed because uh, some extra information will be needed uh, for vendor approval so please see what are those information See, this is the client name, first name, last name. Here you can change his name, and PayPal email ID will be needed because vendor will be paid by frequently by uh, through PayPal uh, their commission. So they can add their PayPal email ID here, which the email ID they they, they want to add here. They can add their PayPal email ID here. First name they can add here. Suppose uh, first name client one 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 last name. Suppose PayPal email ID, I am going to add something like this. Okay, country. Suppose India. Use your bio uh, because uh, uh, vendor having uh, a detailed bio, so you can add in this bio. Here, vendor or seller need to add their bio. Accept user policy. Accept user because uh, there are there is certain uh, accept user policy terms for vendor also, which uh, will add your letter then submit. When you will submit, automatically see if your application has been approved because the vendor application is auto approved mode, so anyone can approve this uh, vendor application. Okay, after applying this, automatically our uh, website will approve your application. But your submission will not approve automatically because it needs uh, the approval from admin uh, or web master. So I'm I'm going to show you how this uh, submission form uh, is working here. This is the complete vendor dashboard after uh, applying any client day after joining vendor dashboard with this thing like this. Ah, uh, this is the vendor link store URL. This is the URL which you can share. which you can share uh, to your uh, uh, known client friend anything uh, in facebook or yeah, marketing purpose you can share your links like this but see here now this is not seeing any product because here is no product is listed so uh, after uh, adding your product this the link will be work and your shop will be visible to everyone so how it will look i am going to show you so the first thing is dashboard then products products means uh, After adding, you have now currently you don't have any products because you don't have added any products. This add product here, you can add any products like product name, add your product name, insert detail product description, value proposition statement means product description here. Upload feature image. You have to upload your image or video here. Then download category. In which category you are going to uh, add this product? So you have to choose your category. All category already I have we have added here. Sorry, multiple pricing, pricing. Suppose you want to add pricing amount and any download link of their product, then you can do everything here. Then after that, uh, you have to submit. When you will submit, uh, it takes a few days or few hours for verifying of our, uh, everything from our admin side. After verification, they will uh, you will get a mail, you know, mail confirmation. After verification, uh, if it will accepted, then the your product will be shown in our library, in our shop. It will if it will reject, then uh, uh, then your uh, you cannot able to uh, 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 post your product in our store. Okay, so now this is the another tab is called as earning. Earning earning tab means uh, after uh, selling, you can see this earning how many 
Amount down that amount you, you have earned. But now as you have seen, there is no earnings made. Because you have not seen yet, you have not made any errors. You have not get any errors. So there is no errors and no one. So, uh, and another last one is profile and logout. So profile option here you can get the profile. Your profile, vendor profile means like client profile, vendor profile, you can add your name of the store. See, uh, now you don't have any store, so you want to name of the store, suppose you want to uh, keep it AML store, AML store. Name of the store is uh, AML store, uh, sorry, AML store, okay? Then uh, I, you have to add your logo of the image, you can add it here. And your PayPal email ID you can add it here. So I'm going to add it in the image uh, file here. So go to here. Then <coughs> uh, desktop from desktop I'm going to add it some image. So this is the image which I am going to add it here. This is the render image. So I have added it here. And then submit. Successfully updated my profile. This information has been updated. You can log out here and then vendor feedback. If any uh, feedback you will get from client side, then it will display from here. Either it will be negative or positive. Like this. so. First of all, we are going to uh, now we'll add a product test product. See how it will add. So product name is test testing test two description. Suppose I have randomly added something. Upload picture image. Suppose this is the picture image. Suppose upload any picture image. I have added one picture image. Suppose this one the any picture image. Then that I suppose any image. Uh, okay. This one the only one image. <coughs> After that, uh, you have to choose the uh, image like this. You have the picture image and video. After the category, you have to choose which category you want to list it. I will the audit as well as in that Multiple category, you can also uh, get, uh, add it into multiple category also. After that, uh, price, uh, you can name a price of some, suppose uh, price for, uh, suppose this is uh, for. Uh, to 60 uh, price one suppose amount is suppose five dollar and uh, five URL downloadable URL uh, means your uh, is, this is any downloadable file then uh, first of all you have to upload this downloadable link into any server like Amazon or Dropbox etc. and you can add their uh, your downloadable URL also so that uh, 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 when any client will purchase this product at that time this URL will be served in their mail or in their invoice also so randomly I will added one URL here so now I will add this URL here ok now submit ok when I am going to submit new product submitted successfully ok I have, I have done one vendor, submitted one product, but when I am going to see in my products tab, see here it's the product image testing pending review, it's in review stage, not sell period, and everything is here, here I can edit and delete this product, and here I have added this. So now, what I will do, simply uh, the vendor, suppose one vendor, do these things and after that log out from this complete uh, session after that when admin will uh, you now logged in into their account by through sign in admin admin my admin when logged in their account so where he can see these things the main important things he can access these things from his dashboard see where he can access these things so these things you can access EDD FES from here the vendors one here you can access and uh, here all download you can see also these things where see one vendor here client approved 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 here here are the three vendors 
is the best payment gateway. So now no registration, nothing will be asked by this site. So now directly I can select on purchase and uh, I can purchase anything. Now this is a test payment gateway for testing purpose I am using. Okay. So now nothing will be. So this is the things. Uh, uh, any client can use run uh, they can see their uh, purchase history from here. So client can use these uh, uh, accounts, these uh, uh, credentials from here and even this credential you can download from the and if uh, clients want to be a become a vendor or author, then you can go to become a vendor. Then anytime you can fill vendor details, then you can able to uh, uh, add a uh, vendor after approval from the, the site admin. After then, uh, vendor, he will be able to see a vendor dashboard and there he can add any product, manage any product, seeing their order and everything you can uh, control from there. Then uh, after uh, Placing these things here, logout bottom will come when you click on logout anywhere. And automatically, site will be logout and home page will be shown. And here, sign in and here, joining button will be automatically come and everything will be uh, in the backend. So, in the back so now, hope it will clear uh, uh, your uh, some doubts about FES and you can ask me if anything goes through any questions you have and I would be uh, happy to help you anytime. So thank you for giving me a chance. Thanks.